Welcome to Minister of State Niall Collins, here on behalf of the Minister of Education, uh, Norma Foley. And if I make it here, look to share two minutes of my time with Senator Michal Carrigy. Is that agreed? Uh, there is a lot of concern and anxiety, Minister, for parents and Leaving Cert students, especially with absences due to COVID-19 or close contacts. It's been a huge issue over the last number of months, particularly with Omicron, both for teachers and students alike. Minister, further meetings were held last week with the Advisory Group on Planning for State Examinations for the Leaving Cert 2022 on the 20th of January. And there are currently bilateral meetings with stakeholder groups into this week. Now we are the 25th of January, Minister, and clear guidance is required for parents, students and teaching staff. When will we have a decision on Leaving Cert 2022? There is a reported increase over five-fold in CAO maximum point scores over the past number of years, and there is significant pressure on college places. There's a disparity between standard exams and accredited grades. And this is putting courses, of course, out of reach for students as points rise. And there is a lottery system at the moment happening for students. Minister, what supports are in place for this cohort of students this year who more than most have been impacted since March 2020 when they were in junior cert? They have not completed perhaps any state exams at all. Um, student and parent advisory groups, you know, are, are, have been reaching out about this stress and anxiety. At third level, uh, Minister Simon Harris has brought forward changes to the CAO form that now include further and higher education, excuse me, and apprenticeship places. Uh, it shows the options for young people to reach their career of choice, but also we have 6,000 places to reduce pressure on points over the two years. What are we going to be able to do this year? We're reaching capacity level at higher education. Uh, Minister, the Leaving Cert is well overdue reform and we need it now. When will the NCCA report the National Council on Curriculum and Assessment Final Advisory Report be finally published on senior cycle reform? Continuous assessment options only for 60% of subject choices, that is to apply to all subjects. Um, like Senator Carrigy here, I've received reports that the National Parents Council on this advisory group for post-primary does not represent all parents, particularly of two uh, associations. Thanks, okay. thanks very much, Chair. Um, thanks to Senators Ashling Dolan and Michal Carrigy for, for raising this, this very important matter and allowing me the opportunity to address it. The Department and the State Examinations Commission have been progressing and planning for the 2022 junior cycle and leaving certificate examinations. This has been done in consultation with the advisory group on planning for the state examinations and with public health. Both National Parents Council post-primary and National Parents Council primary are represented on the advisory group. And I'll come back to the, to the point that both senators have made in relation to that in a minute. Other members of the group include representatives of students, teachers, school leaders, representatives of the State Examinations Commission, the National Council for Curriculum and Assessment and Higher Education and the Department. The Department is aware that the Leaving Certificate experience for the class of 2022 has been disruptive. The State Examinations Commission working with the Department have sought through a range of measures to take account of the disruption to learning experienced by these students. These measures include Adjustments to the assessment arrangements for the 2022 state examinations that were announced in August 2021. These adjustments are designed to take account both of the disruption to learning experienced by students in the early part of 2021, as well as providing for some possible further disruption in 2021-2022. Arrangements, revised arrangements for the Leaving Certificate Oral Language Examinations and the performance tests in Leaving Certificate Music. These examinations will take place outside of school time over the first week of the school Easter holidays and will minimise disruption to teaching and learning. Pushing out the time frame for certain assessment elements of the Leaving Certificate applied examinations, schools were also reminded of the flexibility available regarding the dates for the completion and authentication of Leaving Certificate coursework. The Minister also announced that an alternative set of Leaving Certificate examinations will run in 2022, shortly after the conclusion of the main set of examinations. This will be for students who are unable to sit the main set of examinations for various reasons, including COVID-19, illness, bereavement or other serious illness. The Department have also made available guidance materials to enable schools to mediate the curriculum safely for all pupil students in the COVID-19 context. This includes information on wellbeing supports for Leaving Certificate students and a series of supports for managing wellbeing, coping with uncertainty and managing stress and anxiety developed by the National Educational Psychological Service in the Department. 
The Department continues to engage with all partners in education on all matters relating to Leaving Certificate 2022 examinations. The advisory group and state examinations, as both senators know and have stated, it met on Thursday last, the 20th of January. A number of updates were received from group members, including reports of results from surveys from their members that were conducted by some bodies. The issue of grade inflation was also raised. The meeting was positive and collaborative with all parties committed to continued engagement in the short period ahead in order to provide clarity in relation to state examinations 2022. It was agreed that members of the group would reflect on the contributions made at the meeting and that engagement would continue between the Minister and the stakeholders on a bilateral basis. The bilateral engagement has been continuing since late last week and over the weekend, and it is planned that a further meeting of the advisory group will be held in the coming days. Uh, thank you, Minister, and I'll share my response time with Senator Carrigy. Um, Minister, when are we going to have a response in the Leaving Cert? The advisory group you've mentioned here are going to be meeting in the next few days, but when will we actually have a decision for these parents and students? Also, Minister, in relation to my comments raised by Senator Carrigy, the Catholic Secondary Schools Parents Association and the Parents Association for the ETB schools are not represented currently within the National Parents Council post-primary. That means no parents of students in DESH schools under disadvantage are represented in that group that are now making a decision around Leaving Cert 2022. Thanks. thanks. Um, and the points that, that you've both raised are very, very valid. Um, the Taoiseach has said on the record of the Dáil today, for example, that he met yesterday evening with the Department of Education, the senior statistician and the minister. It's a complex issue, as you know. Um, some of the cohort of this year's Leaving Certificate students, um, you know, th there's two cohorts uh, within this year's Leaving Certificate students, some who sat the junior cert and some who haven't sat the junior cert, and that throws up a lot of complexities, and you all know and understand that. That's part of what has to be worked through in terms of um, arriving at a decision. When we will have a decision, I can't say to you here today, I've, I've been asked um, every day for the last number of weeks, but it will be an early decision. We had a decision on this at the end of February last year. We're now the middle, getting towards, we're, we're entering towards the end of January at the moment. So we will have a decision far earlier this year than we had um, last year, and that clarity um, will be um, forthcoming as soon as possible. And in relation to the points that you've both made uh, quite, um, quite well in relation to the representation for parents, I will bring that to the Minister um, after this session. I wasn't aware of that personally myself in terms of the dynamic uh, within the, the, the representative groups, but certainly what you've highlighted and articulated here today, um, I will bring to the Minister for her direct attention.